Hi everyone, it's Dr. Nikki. Thank you for joining for an ep another episode of Love Talks. And today's question is how to create healthy habits. So the number one thing I see when I work with clients is they are just bombarded with so much information and so much to do in order to create a healthy life that they feel overwhelmed and then they don't start anywhere. It's just like, forget it, this is too much, I'm not gonna do it. And, and I get that, and it's, it's really challenging. So my biggest advice with creating health, healthy habits is to first begin with one thing. One thing, just choose one thing and do that either every morning, right when you wake up, or every night, right before you go to bed. So personally, I feel the morning is the best time because sometimes we can get really tired at the end of the day or a day can be really busy and we forget and we just fall asleep. And at the same time, depending on your work schedule, you may like that extra time to sleep. But when we do it in the morning, our day goes that much better because we feel really fulfilled and happy that we were able to do this healthy habit. And healthy habits are also about making a choice in the moment. And it's about really wanting whatever it is your end goal is. So I always say to people, start somewhere, start small, whatever it is, and just start from there. So let's say if you wanted to start meditating. And so <laughs> I, I laugh because everyone's like, meditation is so hard. I, I, don't, I don't know how to meditate every time I sit down. It's like the hardest thing. How do you sit for 20 minutes? And it begins small. You can begin with one minute a day. You set an alarm and you literally just close your eyes and focus on your breath or just sit there. Just the fact that you're sitting there in silence, not doing anything, not on your phone, not on the computer, not watching TV, and you're just focused on being still and silent, there you go. You're starting a healthy habit. And then every day you up it by one minute. And maybe if you feel inspired, you stay longer. Or let's take healthy eating. So this is one of the most difficult things for people because they really love certain processed foods. And it's really not anyone's fault. It's the fault of the company because they create foods that taste really good because they manipulate the foods with food science. So they create certain types of textures and certain types of flavors that our brains are like, oh my God, I want more of. So it initially begins just by not buying those foods. So I always recommend go to the supermarket or choose to order food after you work out. And so let's say you're not even working out, go to the supermarket full, eat before you go, and then you'll be more conscious about what you buy. And if you really have an addiction to, I don't know, let's say Oreos, don't buy them. Don't buy Oreos anymore. You can find other alternatives, if you really love chocolate, um, there's this recipe that I love that's super easy. All it is is hot water, cacao powder, which is the pure cacao from the cacao bean, and grade B maple syrup, and you make a hot chocolate. You can make it as sweet as you want because grade B maple syrup is a natural sweetener, and cacao powder is a natural chocolate without any milk or sugar in it. And you can even add almond milk if you want to make it creamy. So if you're craving chocolate, you find these alternatives. And that's really what, let's say, healthy eating is about, is you find an alternative. Something, or even if you really crave sweets, then you have fruit after dinner. So finding that alternative to create a healthy habit. So if you want to leave me any comments about certain healthy habits that you're hoping to create, I can guide you more specifically. But ultimately, it's about making choices in the now. And what is your intention behind this healthy habit? Is it to create a healthier life, to be happier, to be more calm, whatever it might be, even just going for a walk in nature every day so that you're spending time de-stressing and really connecting to yourself and the earth. Whatever it might be, is think about yourself because your future self will thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks so much for joining.